Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be a short case revision for surgery posting on thyroid examination and the topic will be Graves' disease. Pathogenesis of Graves' disease is due to the presence of TSH receptor stimulating antibodies that stimulate the thyroid gland enlargement and also production of the thyroid hormones. On physical examination of the thyroid examination, these are some of the expected findings for Graves' disease. So the expected findings would be a diffusely enlarged goiter with a smooth surface and firm inconsistency. And we should also look out for features of thyrotoxicosis. There are some specific signs such as Graves' ophthalmopathy, which is often seen in Graves' disease, which include esophthalmos, proptosis, lid retraction, chemosis, lid lag, and also ophthalmoplegia. Graves' dermopathy can also be noted, which is pre-tibial maxedema, where we have to check the legs of the patient. For investigations to confirm our provisional diagnosis, which is Graves' disease, we can do thyroid function tests where the expected findings would be a low TSH level and high T3 and T4 levels. Autoantibodies testing such as TSH receptor stimulating antibody, antithyroid peroxidase and antithyroglobulin. And ultrasound of the neck where the expected finding would be an enlarged and hypervascular thyroid gland. The treatment for Graves' disease can be divided into symptomatic treatment and definitive treatment. To relieve the symptoms, we can give beta blocker such as propanolol, whereas the definitive treatment would be antithyroid medication such as carbimazole or radioactive iodine ablation or surgery, which is total thyroidectomy where removal of the thyroid gland is done. That is all for this video. Thank you.